Good morning, traders. Well, Asian uh, indices are looking to open broadly higher with Japan, Hong Kong and China uh, in the green. The ASX has opened slightly to the downside. Um, this follows the US last night. The, the US actually had a, a pretty broad rally across all the major indexes. There was a short squeeze in the regional banks, which saw the uh, KRE ETF rally over 3% and dragging up the Russell 2000 to be the top performer for the day. Um, the New York Fed manufacturing survey came in much weaker than expected. Uh, this did see that kind of bad news as good news narrative play off and see a bit of a rally in equity markets with the hopes that the Fed uh, won't need to be as aggressive going forward. FX markets, US dollar drifted uh, lower after two quite strong up days. Um, this was on the back of that dismal manufacturing survey. Also a bit of risk appetite returning to the market on those uh, regional banks rallying. Though how long this lasts, we'll have to wait and see with the, with the debt ceiling impasse going on, um, more than likely risk off will return to the market unless that gets sorted out pretty quick. Uh, Euro saw gains against the dollar, mostly because of the weaker US dollar. It was kind of capped to the upside a bit by um, some pretty weak industrial production figures out of the EU. Uh, today, the attention will be on the, the flash estimates for Q1 GDP and uh, German Z ZEW uh, figures for May. Uh, the yen um, came off a bit last night. The proved risk sentiment was the main driver. Also, uh, a lower than expected uh, inflation reading out of Japan, which um, shows that they may get back to target without aggressively uh, pulling back on their, their very easy policy they've got at the moment. In commodities, we saw gold uh, rally modestly in a bit of a range-bound session, on, mostly on a weaker US dollar. Uh, that's despite risk sentiment being... Uh, risk on, which would normally be negative for gold. Um, but no doubt the, the uncertainty over that debt ceiling impasse as well is putting a bid under the, under the gold price. Crude oil prices uh, climbed during the session on risk on sentiment. Um, the, it did dip early in the session and test support there at 69.40. Uh, there was a bit of a tailwind too from some supply issues reported from Iraq. And it, that, saw the, that saw USO USD rally pretty strongly to the end of the session there. Now, so today's risk events, um, the RBA minutes, 11.30 Australian Eastern time, more than likely they'll uh, parrot pretty much the statement that came out with the surprise hike decision uh, a couple of weeks ago. So more than likely a little bit hawkish, probably good a bit of a bid under the Aussie dollar. Um, retail sales out of the US is probably the other big risk event tonight. So we'll probably see a little bit of volatility around that. Um, as we saw last night in the manufacturing, any, any, any figure that's showing the, uh, the strength or, or, or not of the US economy is seeing a bit of a repricing in what the Fed will do and see a bit of volatility in the FX markets.